hello this is physiology and welcome back to my youtube channel make sure you like and subscribe make sure you click that notification button so you'll know exactly when i'm uploading new content i'm on vu today and i'm going to teach you guys how to make a nice trendy transparent vest i don't know if it's been done before but i'm going to make sure it happens okay but before we get started i'm going to show you guys what jeans i'm wearing this is in my shop you know what to be honest with you i thought this was going to make first page but it didn't make first page not many people bought it but i really do like these jeans these are worth buying because they're really nice and they're unique and this is what they look like in the back and they're rll and they're boot cut so they're not flare but they're boot cut and they're really nice i actually like these i don't know why why products that i like don't make first page and products that i don't really put much effort to gets to first page i don't understand it i will never understand it but that's just the the truth of creating on vu all right so let's get started i'm going to show you guys who i derived from okay so although this person is no longer active they're disabled you can still derive from their products so this is what it, it's from no x and this is what it looks like it's four parts as you can see i downloaded the white ones it, it's just easier to work with white because you could change it you can change the color easier if you start off with the white maps instead of the other colors scroll down there goes the product id number or you can click derive from product okay let's go and have our gimp open up so we are in GIMP, and this is the front, the back, sleeves, and the zipper, and the collar. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, new layer, okay. I'm just gonna do the same for everything. New layer, okay. Right click, new layer. Okay. And repeat. Now I'm going to add a texture color on here. Let's see. This layer. Go to desktop. Texture and logo. They have so many to choose from. You know what? I think I might go with... Should I go with stripes? You know what? I'm going to go with stripes this time. Let's go with stripes. I normally don't pick stripes, but that's okay. I'm going to scale this down to uh, about 550 550 there and i'm going to do the same here file open as layer layer and you're just going to repeat the steps scale the layer 550 and 550 okay and I'm just going to repeat this process 550 550 all right now do i actually like the colors i think they're pretty bright and you're not going to be able to see as much so what i'm going to do is i'm going to invert the colors okay that gives you brown so i'm gonna undo that invert i'm going to use color balance actually 
And I like to play with this setting the most. So I'm going to do highlights. Let's see. As you can see, you could just change the colors. We'll go with the darker blue, the mid tones, adjust it. Can't really see the difference. Let's see the shadows. Can't really see the difference. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that out. I will use colorize. Colorize can darken. That's not bad, actually. I should like that color. I'm going to repeat, repeat colorize, repeat colorize, and colorize. Now I'm going to see what it looks like if I invert it. Okay, that's actually a nicer color. Repeat invert, repeat invert, filters, repeat invert. Okay. So now I'm going to merge it down. Layer, merge down. Layer, merge down. Layer, merge down. Layer, merge down. Now I'm going to play with the opacity. Okay. So I'm going to go with 70. I'm going to go with 80 actually. 80 is not bad. And I'm going to do the same thing with this 80. here okay now I'm gonna merge down do the same here merge down merge down and now I'm going to sharpen And I'm going to repeat sharpen. I'm going to repeat sharpen. And I'm going to repeat sharpen. And now I'm going to overwrite. Export. I'm going to do the same for everything. If you've seen my other videos, you know exactly what to do. All right, we are going to go to VU to see what it looks like. Okay, so let's overwrite these textures. Okay, so the back. The zipper, and last but not least, there. Apply changes. So this is what it looks like which isn't bad. It's not bad at all. So now I'm going to do the transparency. I'm gonna use the third gray. 
click Use Blending. Use Blending. Do not forget to click Use Blending. Blending. Use blending. Okay. Everything is all set. Now I'm going to click apply changes to see what it looks like. And this is exactly what it looks like. And it came out cute. So it's a see-through vest, very simple and easy. It won't be that simple and easy with other things, but I wanted to show you guys something simple. This is what it looks like. Stripes don't look half bad. It gives it a texture, a different type of texture look. This is what it looks like. Hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe. If you need to comment down below, please do so. And please click the likes. I need the likes to help get these videos moving along. Um, and thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.